Ito yun. You, you're training, you're someone who's training your soft skills and your hard skills. Tapos, mapapaaway ka sa tambay sa kanto, walang honor, walang walang satisfaction dun eh. Kasi alam mo na kung ano yung result eh. Right. Diba? right. Versus you climb inside the ring or you step on the mats against someone who is at the same level as you are, di ba? Yung level of uncertainty nun, mas, mas, ano, mas satisfying yung feeling. Ano, um, so we all agree that, that, that fighting, of course, is in, integral in our, in our, uh, in our development, no? Definitely. But what about, yeah, but what about tournaments? Tournaments. Uh, is it important? Kasi we fight, we spar, but tournaments, uh, is that important? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. Six, to, six to expound. Okay. A lot of people would say, hey, we fight uh, street fight kami, blah, blah, blah. Diba? Yung nalagin lang sinasabi. Uh, Tournament, uh, let's say, jiu-jitsu, boxing, muay thai, harness. At hindi ka limited yan eh. But the thing is, you develop certain attributes. Plus, more or less, you don't you do not know your opponent, so may factor na di mo alam eh. So yung kaba mo, yung kaba, na tututo ka magcontrol ng adrenal response, pati tanong vision. For me again, it's good you join tournaments. Not necessarily become a champion, but as a martial artist, it will help you develop. Eh. That's my personal opinion. You develop and you get better faster. Because may goal ka. You train better. You train more often. You train properly. Again, maganda yung may tournament na eh. may again because may goal. Alfred, tournaments important or not? I think it is. It's very essential if you want to get better. Uh, so it's experience ko kasi. Like, even when I was very, very active in jiu-jitsu, you'd be able to train for, like with one opponent, you, you'd be able to go 50 minutes straight. You can mm. And you know that it's a very challenging opponent, pero kayang kaya mo. And then you get to the tournament proper. Yung una mong match, sobrang dali, pero hindi mo maintindihan. One minute ka lang lumaban, two minutes. Mm -hmm. pagod na pagod ka na kagad yung pakiramdam mo nag, nag adrenaline dump ka na mm. uh, you have to get used to it eh. I, I think aside from you know getting better skill wise with, with tournaments I think your biggest development there is is here mm. it makes you mentally tougher uh, I, I think Frank will be able to share a lot about this because he's you know literally uh, shed blood, sweat, and tears on the mats. <laughs> but but that's that's my belief. You you compete. It helps you become stronger in the head, especially if you go against someone. Na alam mo wala ka talagang pag-asang manalo, mm. as in wala. Mm. I've I've felt that mm. going against uh, Doc. Na mo si Walden Carbonell. Oh yeah, it was uh, my classmate. Yeah. Ang alam ko, Walden was like a, an all-American uh, uh, wrestler. And then Alvin fooled me into joining this wrestling tournament. Sabi niya, everyone's there. You should join. You should join. Everyone's there. So I joined. Pag natin ko sa tournament, ako lang yung nag-iisang taga-deftak na sumali dun sa buong tournament. No one else was there. And then I checked sino yung kalaban ko. It was... Uh, Walden Carbonell. And then I saw Marcos Valda, who's a two-time SEA Games gold medalist na wrestler teammate namin. Uh, Marcos, do, you know, do you know this guy? Do you know Walden Carbonell? I mean, oh yeah, he's my cousin. He's so good. Are you going against him? Ah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here, right? Mm. But going through the experience... Like with what Franco and I said earlier, it toughens your mind because suddenly you realize you're not as fragile against someone who's much skilled than you are. Mm. You're not. You can stand up to them. 
you can probably do uh, some things that you never expected na kaya mo. Mm-hmm. And you know, you, you'd surprise you'd, you'd surprise yourself. Kaya, you know, it's, it's, if there's a chance for you to compete, you should. It's gonna make you better. Uh, anyway, um, I, I, I would like to say, you know, kaya nga dinevelop natin yung duelo tournaments, di ba? Duelo and the knife sport tournament. Again, the knife sport is very technical. Hindi siya talaga patayan, okay? Hindi masakit. But the thing is, yung tournament format mo, it's like chance mo na matalo. Again, like you said kanina, earlier, Alfred, no? may, may competition component eh. Kung sumo manalo. Again, nakakatulong mentally yun eh. Uh, again, ako mas geared kasi ako sa real fights, no? Pero maganda rin. Again, you develop a mental component necessary for you to win in a real fight. Malaking bagay. And again, now, when I teach, uh, so maging instructor, it requires you to have to win in, in a tournament. Dati kasi, di ako, hindi, um, di ako naniniwala doon eh. Pero ngayon, my belief is, kailangan eh. Kailangan na, uh, you, really, you really need to fight in tournaments. Kaya nga maganda, Franco, Alfred, yung sa Jiu-Jitsu, di ba? Unlike in other martial arts, black belt. Well, ano yung standards nyo? How can you check your standards? Unlike in Judo, BJJ, na you check a compared sa ibang ka-level mo eh. You're sure that when you compete in in a brown belt division, uh, talagang brown belt ka. Siyempre kung white belt ka, lalaba ka ng brown, malabo yun eh. Or you're going to compete in a black belt tournament na deserving ka talaga sa black belt. Kasi in some martial arts, I've met people na ewan ka, pentan, blah, 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 dan. Question mark. Eh. Sino ba kinalaban nila para makuha rank na yun? Again, I, I so ko let it quote yung isang kaibigan natin sinabi sa akin, like, Grandmaster, who did you have to fight or did, who did you have to kill to be called a grandmaster? <laughs> and man lang siya ng tournament. Ay, hayaan na natin patayan eh. Kasi bawal na makipagpatayan, di ba? Mm. So, kanina niya tinest yung skill niya. Ba't siya natawag na master? Na-check may skill niya compared sa iba. Again, yun ang maganda sa jiu-jitsu eh, at judo. You're tested against peers of, uh, of the same level. Di ba? And again, you don't have to win eh. You have to show that you, um, the word I would think of is, you prevail. Mm. Uh, you, know, you know, to be fair, especially in the FMA scene, there are some grandmasters I respect because they're able to produce students who are actually, I consider, good. Na kaya yung sarili nila. It, it's just that, you know, they're more outliers than the norm. Mm. It's very... Bihira kang makakita ng tao who calls themselves Grandmaster na talagang may history ng lumaban mm. or napalaban. Right. It's mostly, you know, legends that they either built for themselves or their students built around them. And I think that's where even Taekwondo, Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, yeah, have very big advantages over FMA. Mm-hmm. Kasi, pag kami dalawa ni Franco, sinabi mo, oh, gagana ba yung ganyang move mo? Franco and me can just go on the ground without any preparation and then Franco can, you know, turn me into a pretzel easily. Mm-hmm. Versus, yung Grandmaster, pag sinabi niya yung ganyan technique magagawa niya, I doubt mm-hmm. na ma-apply niya. I even doubt that he actually tests it under pressure. So, so yeah. yeah. Ako ano, um, well, uh, what I want to hear really, no, kasi we, we, we've been talking about tournaments but and, and, and its importance. Franco, I know to you, because you're the most seasoned here in terms of, of participation in, in, in ano, tournaments. So, obviously, it's important to you. So, let me rephrase the question a little bit. 
why do you join? Why do you keep on joining tournaments? Uh, early on, siempre. Early on, because you want to challenge yourself. You mm. want to challenge yourself. You like the the feeling of the challenge. And siguro naging tournament junkie ako. Na parang there is a different rush that you feel from joining tournaments. So there's there's the butterflies in the stomach down to the bliss down to the relief. So it's a totally it's a full spectrum of emotions that you undergo for like a weekend. Diba? And then you get that certain high, you get that certain low. And then it, it reached a point for me wherein I started chasing that high. Mm. And then syempre, I love competing. I love testing myself against people who are as prepared as I am. Diba? Kasi Ito yun. You, you're training, you're someone who's training your soft skills and your hard skills. Tapos, mapapaaway ka sa tambay sa kanto, walang honor, walang walang satisfaction dun eh. Kasi alam mo na kung ano yung result eh. Right. Diba? Right. Versus you climb inside the ring or you step on the mats against someone who is at the same level as you are. Diba? Yung level of uncertainty nun, mas, mas, ano, mas satisfying yung feeling. Now, you I keep competing because then late then as the years progressed I I my my mindset into competing now was of course you want to win but at the same time you want to compete because you want to test yourself and you want you want to share that knowledge to your students I said there will be students where in there you will have students na ayo mag compete marami nang ganyan ngayon they just want to be fit they just want to be they want to have fun. They want to exercise. Pero if you're as an if you're a known competitor, ni mo may iwasan na mayroong mag enroll because they want to compete and they want to compete under your banner. So now, if I stop competing, how can I tell them the the emotions that run? How how can I? project or how can I convey the message of this is how you're gonna feel the night before this is what's gonna be this is gonna be the atmosphere of the tournament kasi iba na yung atmosphere ng tournament noon sa tournament ngayon magkaiba na yung format ng tournaments noon sa tournaments ngayon the skill level of your opponents are different before to now right diba? so how can I how can I convey the message how can I pass on the knowledge and the emotions the physical and the mental preparation if I don't undergo the same process. Diba? So, there's a part of me that competes because I love competing. I don't, I don't really give a shit if I win or lose anymore. But more importantly, it's, it's for my students. Na, na parang I'm, if I want to prepare my students for competition, I should know the landscape of competition today. Mm-hmm. Na parang, hindi pwedeng, kailangan ng, kailangan ng curriculum mo whether in normal classes or in competition, dapat nag evolve yan. Because right. the formulas of the 90s will not definitely be working during today. I mean, magkaiba yung, magkaiba yung levels. There are, there are principles that are staple, pero iba, maraming factors, kumbaga. And then, ano lang din yun? Uh, the whole experience is, kaya ako, I'm, I'm probably one of the few stu- coaches that competes with their students. Some people, some coaches, magko-compete yung estudyante, magko-coach lang sila. Ako siguro, iba akong mag-isip. Uh, if my students are going to battle, I'm going to battle with them. I'm not I'm not gonna be the guy on... The, I mean, mas nakakapagod. <laughs> Hindi ko rin alam paano siya ginagawa, pero puta nakakapagod siya. Kasi you're gonna be shouting, you're gonna be coaching, and then when they call your bracket, you have to, di ba? You have to shift your mindset from being a coach to now being a competitor. Hirap yan, ha? Oh. I think ang pinaka-importante now sa jiu-jitsu competition versus before is madami na kasing magandang babae na pumupunta kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi dati po lalaki lang kami dun eh. <laughs> Marami lang babae na yung gano'n. Tsaka intense ang mga babae ah. Kasi yeah. they're far more competitive. Uh, buti, uh, buti, lang, buti lang asawa ko hindi nanonood ng podcast na to. <laughs> uh, women? Actually, um, yeah. y- years ago, may hinhandle kaming MMA tournament sa PMA. Mm. So, yung, yung 
cadets, male and female cadets. Oh my God, yung female cadets, sobrang emotional. At ang hirap, kasi pipigilan yung fight sila, ang hirap. Mm. Malalaki, hirap. when you say stop, stop. They mm. stop. Babae, mm. wala. Tuloy-tuloy yan. <laughs> <laughs> Intense sila. Kaya rin siguro, ano, that's why being the guy that that uh ilan lang din kasi ngayon eh like yung, i came from the old landscape where in you have to you you're indoctrinated both in the in the combat system and the sport aspect so for me coming from a sport aspect it is important because i th- i think this will probably go back to the previous question it asks kasi Tournaments are important in the sense that it will build your skill set. Your it's gonna enhance your reaction time. It's going to prepare you. I mean, the, a tournament is the closest thing to a fight you'll ever experience. Kaya na sabihin yung may rules, iba yung reaction time, iba yung adrenaline rush, iba rin yung adrenaline dump. Uh, your your mindset is go is it has to shift. So yun din yung I, I share the same sentiment na parang kaya ako nagtataka ako why there are certain people in the combat systems or in the FMA industry wherein ang pinaka selling point mo is it's deadly and that's what I tell people you train a certain martial art to a very high proficiency it is deadly pero diba, I'm like if you don't acid test it you don't pressure test it how will you know that you're teaching something that is real mm. Diba? Or something that will happen in real life. Ako, personal experience ko, I went to, I went to this school. Diba? Pinapunta ako ni six students sa school na yun. Sabi niya, kunin mo yung certificate niyan. I sparred the senior students. I sparred the coaches. It will remain I mean, a name. <laughs> yeah, diba? Parang, I mean, they, they've been bragging na they've been Pardon training. What? Huh? San Juan? <laughs> Sa may San Juan? <laughs> I mean, ito yun ah. I mean, they're, they're nice people. Pero I'm like, <laughs> I can't help, me and my brother can't help but laugh na parang in, 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 a, in a particular training session, mas marami yung oras na pinagyayabang nila yung credentials nila. <laughs> when it came to sparring, wala. Diba? Na parang 3 to 1. Sinapak ko kagad yung pinakamalaki. Nung nakita kong Okay, senior student to. Di ba, pinagyayabang niya pa na nag sa military. Sinunto ko, pumikit. So, parang okay. <laughs> These are the little things. These are the small things na, na, na you will develop or you will... These are attitudes. These are reaction times. Yung tipong nag-fake ka ng job, tas pumikit. Mm. Alam mo na kagad na hindi pa nang susuntok yung taong yun. Mm. Di ba? Ilang so, dapat so, kinikis ka. Oo. <laughs> <laughs> Diba? Uh, so, more than anything, sabi ko, and, and I was very open about it, parang, guys, medyo, you can't say that you're you're preparing people for real-life situations when you're not training it. Kasi, yung isa, parang, ano pa, ano raw, two, three years na raw siya, senior student na, nileg kick ko, puta, nung umiikai ka, sabi niya, time out, time out, time out, masakit, masakit. I'm like, Dude, hindi mo pwede sabihin sa kalya na timeout, di ba? Uh, and then, I mean, I, I could I could blabber all all day about that experience. Pero yun nga eh, naawa ako sa mga estudyante. Uh, di ba? So I hope that, I, this is something that I want the FMA industry to, to, to evolve into, di ba? Dahil nga sa podcast na to, marami na nagpo-post ng mga training videos nila eh. Oo oh, nga eh. At, at dumadami yung mga podcast. <laughs> diba? Dumadami yung mga nagde-demonstrate ng oh, mga, mga ano nila. Gaano kagaling yung system nila. Which is good. Please right. continue doing right. that. Yeah. If, I encourage yeah, you all. Please effect. do that. If that's the effect, then so be it. Diba? Diba? I love it. I love it. And at least nalalaman na ng tao ngayon. Yung people are now aware of your team. People are now aware of your systems. You can actually get more students, di ba? Pero ano True. lang yan eh. True. Diba? Like ano, tawag dito, I remember this eh. I guested on on this uh, parang live streaming show ng TV5 doon eh. Yung mga titos of Manila, sila Lord Devera. So we were talking about the Manny Pacquiao fight, that com- the upcoming Manny Pacquiao fight. 
And then, nag, napunta sa MMA yung discussion, sa martial arts. Butsa, doon ko nakita yung mga comment. Hindi, kasi yung sistema namin, deadly. Hindi, hindi, hindi pang MMA, hindi pang tournament. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. yeah. yeah. Y- yun nga eh. Kasi, for example, if you don't fight, I got into this argument, uh, this out of shape chef that uh, he was discussing. Do you believe, hey, Sixto, do you believe in uh, uh, point, uh, pressure point fighting, blah, 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 uh-huh. blah, blah. Tapos tinignan ko eh, man, you're, you're out of shape. <laughs> next question, kasi ang daming sinasabi sa akin. He was lecturing mm. sa akin, no? Next, qu- next question ko was, ilan na na-knock off ko? Mm. Wala ako, ikaw, ilan? Ako, pito. Siripa ako mm. dito, pinuntal ko dito, kasi ito na. So, mm. ikaw, ilan? Wala, shut up siya. So, mm. a- again, dapat, dapat subukan mo talaga eh, just to check if it works. Eh. Yeah, you know, re- you know, reason. Kaya again, you don't have to kill your sparring partner, mm. or you don't have to kill or injure. Um, pero dapat may sa akin dapat may component ng risk sa mm. fight. Kung pag wala kang component ng risk, again, may question mark na naman yun. Kill, kill, kill. When <laughs> ano ba? When, when, kill, 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 kill. Yeah. when we train, ano, when we train uh, fighting and sparring, no? Do we always have to go all out? Like when yari, yari sparring, yari sparring day. Kailangan ba palaging patayan or kailangan sakitan, uh, minimal protection? Or is there a difference? Is there a difference between like say technical spa? Is there is there merit to that? Or do you always have to simulate a real fight? Ano ba yan? Paano ba yan? Both, mm. both. Explain. Kasi Explain. you do, you do technical sparring to get your timing properly. Yeah, you you do technical sparring to improve your timing. Uh, technical sparring will allow you to free flow. So sa jiu jitsu it's called flow rolling. Mm. Now you don't really go a hundred percent, pero you're answering each other's moves. So you're providing an attack, and your training partner will provide the counter. Right. So it's it's I think. I think the initial or the base point should be intention. So if our intention for this sparring session is to gain and gain technique and, and improve on timing and on momentum shifting and kumbaga your your goal is to uh dito complement complement your repetitions with situational training, then you go situational sparring or flow drilling, diba? And then you all out days where in you go all out. Because when you go all out, dun mo rin exercise. Ano ba ang nagiging natural instinct ko when I'm being presented with this situation? So I think it has it, it has to be a combination of both. Kal six, ano palagay mo dyan? For example, no, um, again, uh, like boxing. Meron naman light spar lang naman sa boxing. Mm. Sa Muay Thai, meron din. Tapos may time, sinubo ako mag-spar sa pro talaga. 30 seconds, umayaw ako. Kasi binigyan talaga ako. Or sa Muay Thai, sinabi ko, sipain mo nga talaga ako, umikot ako nun. Leg shot ni Jerson, umikot ako nun. Uh, again, it depends. Eh. If you're a pro fighter, sure. Ay, mag-all out ka kasi kailangan mo sa kailangan mo yun eh for your job work yun ang goal mo eh but let's say white collar tayo can you afford na mag full contact palagi hmm. dati kasi may belief ako ng ganun sa arnis inofocus ko diba if you look at my old videos wala akong elbow guard I don't use knee guards elbow guards Handguard, but if there was a time, wala pa ako handguard. Eh. But again, professional ako eh. Kapag ako mabalian, may aris trabaho ko, di ba? So again, belief ko, um, there, there should be pain, yung chance sa mahilo ka. But for an injury to happen, 
you're not getting paid 10 million pesos that fight this. So you have to put it into context. Ano dahil, kaya nga, may times, di ba? Um, for example, kapag, let's just parse sa gym ko. Kapag yung isa nakita ko tinamaan na masakit na, I stop it. Eh. Kasi wala ng point. Kasi again, titiisin mo. Kapag tiniis mo yan, that's the time you get an injury. Kapag pagka, kapag tinamaan ka na, tama na, walang point. Eh. There's no point. Yung pride, hindi uh, nakakain yung pride. Eh. There's no money there. Again, if you're fighting for 10 million, kasi I remember, di ba, dati kay, again, yung jiu-jitsu dati, no, 90s, kahit naka-armbar na, titiisin pa yan. Eh. Di ba? Dapat makawala ka. Ngayon, uh, we're smarter now. Kung, kung alanganin na yung position, tas gym roll lang naman, just tap. Anong point mo? Hmm. Didislocate mo, paluluwang mo yun. Paluluwang mo. So, again, sa akin, in context. Sa akin, pwede technical nga din. Again, di ba sa artist, we have this hand sparla. Hand and leg sparla. We don't have to hurt each other. Again, i-discuss natin um, anong attribute, what, which attribute do you want to develop? Right. Diba? right. Again, kung mag-all out ka, tas kalaba mo, pro boxer, kahit sabihin natin, four rounder yan. Tayo, white collar, gulpi tayo doon. Mm. Again, we have to discuss yung limitations. Oh, tsaka pag, um, te- pag technical sparring kasi parang that's where you you can actually try things eh. Whereas if mm-hmm. you go all out, you end up with bad habits. At least that's why, mm-hmm. what I think, no? Because you, you it's, or you're always on survival mode, eh? which, which, is, which has its merits. But then, you know, you, you're, you can't, you don't have the opportunity to be, to gamble, so to speak, on, on techniques that you've just learned and test, no? So. Every now and then, every now and then, you have to do it. But for me, lala na, I'm 50 now. Siguro minsana na lang. Pero... Halata na 50 ka. Akala ko 50 35 ka? lang. Ah, 50 ka? Akala ko, 50. Akala ko 52 ka lang. Hindi <laughs> halata na. <laughs> yeah. So ano... Um, yeah. In context. In context. Hmm. In context. Oh. So ano, we, 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 I, I'd like to ask you guys about... Kasi apart from fighters and teachers, no, you, you also organize your own tournaments. No? So... Like Ico Franco uh, and, mm. and Alfred, you have Arte Suave. No? So tell us more about mm. that. No? Tell, tell us more about that. Uh, how did it go about? What is the goal? No? Uh, well, Arte Suave Manila naman kasi is a yearly tournament that we created mm. for... Kumbaga, ano siya, it's, it's a jiu-jitsu tournament by jiu-jitsu people for the jiu-jitsu community. Mm. Yun yung pinaka... Ano namin, parang, with so many tournaments that I've joined, um, this could be done better, this could be done better, I think we should improve this. So instead of just mumbling and, and parang sipping, okay, go nga ako ng tournament. And then, yan, Alfred and I discussed it. And then, kumbaga the idea was reinforced and then all the other pieces came together. Isai was brought in, J-Boy was brought in. And then a bit, a huge chunk of it was uh, Commerce Center Mall in Alabang. Uh, they we pitched the idea and they liked it, so it started like ano ba tayo, Alfred? 2015, 2014. 2000. Pinag-usap, yun, pinag-usapan namin siya, Alfred 2013 or 14. Then actually, we did. a lot of it was just Franco, me, and Isai eating ramen in Malate. <laughs> And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said we want it. Yeah. I, I think Franco the 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 the, the difference aside especially kasi ka sobrang active mo sa jiu-jitsu scene. Eh. And then mm-hmm. Isa eh, was very passionate about selling it mm-hmm. to Commerce Center. Kaya it was very successful at the same time. At the time kasi there was no tournament that you could call a uh, neutral ground. For all mm. teams, uh, there there was a time that you know, like how FMA is now, the jiu-jitsu scene in the Philippines was very clannish, and it was either tournament to ni ganitong team or tournament to ni ganitong team, 
and then Franco was able to create that vibe na this is a safe place for any team to, to compete in and just, you know, have fun. Tsaka ano siya, um, my primary goal was, number one was what Alfred said, to have have a common ground for all the teams to just roll. Para mag jujitsu lang. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing is, there, there's no... There's no politics. There's no bias. There's no, but you go. I mean, you just go here to compete. That's it. Compete, have fun. That was my only goal. And at the same time, we wanted to create something that will provide value to the community. Because a lot of, I mean, there are a lot of great tournaments. I mean, I join them as much as I can. I will join them. I will support them. I will compete there. Pero ang inaano ko lang kasi during that time was. I've gone through so many competitions where in uwi ako medal. That's it. Diba? So now, we wanted to create something where in, okay, you do the major tournaments, then come join Arte Suave Manila na when you win, diba? we want to make sure that the tournament fee is as low as possible diba? where we will crunch the numbers for you. Diba? And then when you win, you go home, you won't go home empty-handed. That's why I'm very thankful to our sponsors. I'm very thankful to our partners because they believe and trust in the brand. Na they keep churning out. Like when you when you go home, sa kamaako ng sa kamaakita ng tournament na pag-uwi mo, may good lahat ng winners may goodie bag. Goodie you, bag na puno. Thank yes. you BMW. Thank you Petron. Yes, de ba? Gatorade, uh, de ba? That guy designs Commerce Center. And the tenants of com, I mean the restaurants and the partner establishments of Commerce Center. As in, si Wicked looks sponsor sa atin si Wicked. Si Wicked, ayan, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> I mean, sponsor, so ako, sponsor pero sumingil. <laughs> di ba? Kasi it's so, it's so satisfying to see na when they get to the podium, they get their medals. And then you give them, you hand them something and then they're so happy. That was it for me. That was... Yun yung pinakamasaya sa akin na parang uwi sila na sir, sir thank you may merong Gatorade, merong yes. movie tickets, may may GCs, may may rush guard sa loob. Di ba? There was one competitor na gusto ko lang sabihin. Doon ko nakita na maybe we were actually able to do something really different. There was a competitor. Yung asawa niya sobrang yaman talaga. Uh, mm-hmm. like they could stay at home for the next 50 years, have grandchildren, their grandchildren will, will still be very rich. Mm-hmm. And after the, the, the wife got her medal and her goodie bag, mm-hmm. she was so happy with the goodie bag na pinagmamalaki niya dun sa asawa niya na she got this, that the experience was so different from all the other tournaments. Mm-hmm. Na aside from the tournament, after the tournament, mahakain pa sila because of the GCs, watch a movie, mm-hmm. everything. Like it was a whole different experience from from other competitions. Na mm-hmm. wala pang na replicate as of now. Hmm. Because ako and and a huge part of this when people congratulate us, I always say it's not just me. It's I have a very very good team behind me. But more importantly. The jiu-jitsu community made it happen. I mean, at least, yung faith ko sa humanity na restore every time that event happens. Kasi, we will mount it, pero the jiu-jitsu community makes, makes it successful. As in, I just wanted the venue, and I just wanted people, I, would, I just wanted to give people an avenue to, ano, to compete. And at the same time, yan, we really work hard on it na ang focus is yung athletes, hindi yung event. That's why we get media partners. Tapos when, when they keep asking me na, can you grant an interview, 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 I'll say, I will do it, pero kailangan meron kayong interviewin na tatlo hanggang apat na atleta. So at least yan, you, you get to talk to the athletes mismo. That's why when you see coverage ng artists mo in Manila, maraming athletes na kinakausap. Kasi it's all about them. That weekend is all about them. Hindi hindi siya about the tournament. It's about it's about the community and the people around it. Yun talaga. I think that's the main driving force why uh, it's been ongoing for I mean 
sana matuloy siya this year given itong pandemic na to pero feeling ko rin naman everyone's re is raring to go back go back to training and go back to competing pero a huge chunk a huge chunk of the tournament success is the community na ikaw ano ikaw naman um uh, six stone no you you have naman the uh, right now you have the duelo and knife sport, uh, and knife sport. sport no? so that tell us more about these these two tournaments no? okay yung duelo kasi uh, anyway we spar a lot anyway so sabi ko sige gawin na natin tournament mm. para magkaroon ng competition again we were discussing iba pa pero magkaroon ng competition aspect uh, yun tapos sinubukan namin mixed weapons diba iba 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 in land may isa mahaba isa may shield for fun lang. Saka actually gusto ko yung mag Iba-iba. Um, yun lang. Medyo nagka-problems. Kasi hirap din mag-hatak ng competitors. Ang dami kasi nagtatanong. Hey, I wish. I wish nandito ako. Nasa international seminar ako. Uh, ginawa ko. <laughs> Alam, ginawa ko. Uh, o oh, sige, sir, kay- kailan kayo babalik? Adjust ko. Ay, wala sa age division ko eh. Sir, gagawa ako para sa inyo. Ilan tao ka na. Wala, hindi na sumagot. Okay. Um, uh, yung knife sport naman, gina- ginawa ko kasi. Uh, kasi the thing about knife fight, knife fight, you know, man, knife fighters. Uh, Sakat sa tega talaga magsabihin mo knife fighter. Wala, hindi na test yung techniques eh. So, gawa tayo ng tournament na controlled, technical, mm-hmm. tignan natin kung lalabas ang technique. That's simple. And if I have students, uh, students sa uh, FMA, sa Ilustrisimo, Arms Hermanos, or even sa Libre, kinirequire ko sumali doon para masubukan kung nag-work talaga. Again, iba yung feel ng... Iba yung feel. Eh. Again, Li- uh, libre, no? Libre is more eh, of a uh, knife combatives. Hindi talaga siya dueling, eh. Hmm. But, the thing is, there are aspects na masusubukan mo doon. Saka, again, yung mental part ng tournament, yung may kaba, hindi mo kilala, doon lalabas. So, kahit hindi ka manalo, at least nasubukan mo. Yeah. And, the thing is pala, ginagawa ko sa knife sport, Kasi tournaments dito ang gulo eh. Sasabihin, 8 o'clock. Diba? That's basically ang katournament. 8 o'clock ang darating. Lalaba ka alas 4. Mm-hmm. Ang ginawa ko sa night sport, and sana sa duwelo rin, pero yung isang partner mo, gulo ka usap. Ang gusto sino, kasi, sino partner mo? Sino partner mo? Partner. Uh, sino sino partner yan? yan? Sino yan? Uh, basta. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ba yung dumaya kay Dax? <laughs> Allegedly. 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 Anyway, my belief is kasi sa, sa night sport ko nagawa ngayon, no? we start at, we say we start at 4, at 5, tapos na. Para maka-attract tayo ng maraming white collar, uh, white collar athletes. Uh-oh. So, kasi nangyayari sa tournaments, uh, problem is, kaya na off yung iba, mga family, may family na, you have to commit a day and a half eh. the day before the day mismo ng tournament. Ang gusto ko mangyari sa night sport is and sana sa duelo in the future is okay, let's compete at uh, uh, this hour, uh, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, tapos na. Sa gabi, pwede mo na isama family mo, manood na kayo mm. Yun ang goal ko. Para madaling isingit. And Mm-hmm. I, I'm asking people na yung sumasali, anong araw nyo gusto? Gusto nyo Friday night? Gusto nyo Thursday night? Gusto nyo Saturday morning? Gusto nyo Sunday morning? Sunday morning, tapos na. Tapos Sunday afternoon, kasama ng family mo. So, madaling sumali. Diba? Yun, ang, yun ang goal ko eh. Actually, nakuha ko yung concept na yan sa fencing eh. Sa fencing kasi, ang ganda eh. They, uh, again, that's why it's an Olympic sport. Their tournaments are so organized. Sabi mo, 11 o'clock, check the equipment. Okay. 1 o'clock, lalaban ng saber. 2 o'clock, yung epe. So, very specific sila. At nasusundan. 
yun ang gusto ko mm. i-adopt sa sa Webus tournaments ng Filipino martial arts. Kasi karamihan, kahit na mga nasalihan ko noon, as mga nasasalihan ng mga students ngayon, sad to say, uh, it's very cool pa sa pag-organize. Again, it's I'm glad na nag-organize sila. No? Pero sana mas ayusin pa natin para maka-attract pa tayo ng marami pa. So yun ang sinusubokong gawin sa Knife Sport. Diba that's when we organize it? It's, it starts on time. Yeah. It's fast. Ends on time. Uh, actually, yun, 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 yun. It, it's all, it also comes from, you know, kasi kami ni Sixto, apart from from being, you know, into martial arts, we're also professionals as he mentioned. So I'm a dentist and Sixto is a vet, a veterinarian, and uh, I guess I guess that that aspect of our lives, no, it it translates also to how we organize things, no. So when we, whenever we organize seminars or even tournaments like yung yung, yung knife sport, we like to start on time and we like to end on time also because we don't want to waste people's time. We don't we don't want to dilly dally and you know, and, and we want everyone to have a good time, and and get their money's worth, no. Because parang and and and. And people see that, particularly in knife sport, because it's so I know it's so easy. It's it's even the the very name knife sport. It, parang ano? It's not it's not as intimidating. Eh. Hindi siya parang okay. knife or death or whatever, no or uh, you know, deadly the deadly tournament or whatever. It's knife sport. So it's it's, it's knife sport. knife sparring in a sport setting, no. And and it's 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 light sparring, no. Uh, mabilis, di ba? Ano ba tayo? 30 seconds or 1 minute? 30 seconds. seconds. 30, 30 seconds. second bouts. So you can actually, if, if you have people, and, and you know, you don't even have to have a, a big, you know, a big uh, attendance. You know, if you have four people, five people, three people, go. So you have like a 20 minute tournament and that's it. And everything is tallied, di ba? Everything is tallied yeah. online. You, you, you accumulate points. It, it's, a, it, it's a fun way. Dare I say, a fun way of, of, of learning and, and testing your skills, no? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we've covered a lot of things about about uh, about uh, fighting in martial arts. No? So I think it's it's about time that we wrap it up. So any any last words, Sixto? We'll start with you. Hmm. Well, uh, again, when you fight, fight in house, challenge, tournament. The most important thing is you give a good fight. Of course, winning is uh, great. That's a big thing, you know. Champion, yay! But again, um, in fights, in sparring, tournaments, there will always be a winner. There will always be a loser. Less na draw kayo lage. Uh, importante again. Pinag importante is show a good fight. Right. Franco. Uh, based on what we covered today, training is one aspect of doing martial arts. Uh, sparring is the application of those training. Uh, everything that you train for, you apply during sparring. And then it's culminated in competitions or in tournaments. So they are, they are the pro natural progression of skill building and skills development. So I highly encourage it to at, at least once in your life compete or spar. I mean sparring is dapat requirement yan eh. Pero tournaments eh, at least once or twice in your life so that you get the entire spectrum of the experience of training martial arts. Diba? It's going to benefit you whether you win or you lose, it will benefit you. It's going to make you a better person, it's going to enhance your physical, your mental and your emotional well-being. And at the same time, you get to you get to know yourself quickly, diba? People people are exposed to themselves during ano, adverse situations. So, diba? Bilisan mo na yung process, sumali ka ng tournament. At least you know what you're made of. And from there, it's up to you. Do you crumple and wimp out and cry and blame everyone else except yourself? Or you pick up the pieces and you make yourself better, okay? Yeah, Alfred. Yeah. Any last, you know, parting words? Oh, for for sparring, uh, tournaments, even challenges. You know, these are controlled, controlled environments. Uh, if you're, 
if you can do them, if there's a chance to do them, participate. It's going to make you better. For actual fight scenarios or talagang fighting, if you can avoid it, avoid it. But if you have to fight, you know, you go all out. You don't, you don't leave uh, anything within you. Labas mo na lahat ng kailangan mong gawin. Right. Ako naman, uh, fighting, fighting. I, I think isa lang yung maling tema natin today. Uh, fighting, we, we are in the fighting arts, fighting sports, whatever you call it. When you do that, there ha- has to be fighting. <laughs> so you cannot, we're, we're not studying how to dance. We're not dancing. You know, we're not we're not talking, we're not debating, we're fighting. So, so there has to be the fight aspect there, diba? So anyway, um, thank you guys, and thank you everyone uh, for listening, and uh, hope you can join us again on our next episode. If you have any suggestions, you know, or anything that you got, you, you guys want us to talk about, please feel free uh, to to comment. Uh, and yeah, thank you, thank you for joining us. Peace. Next time. Good night, motherfuckers. Good night.